Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another process video on my latest piece, which is this one right over here. And this one is one that's very near and dear to my heart. This piece is going to be auctioned off um, this Saturday in Phoenix for the Survival Art Show. And this art show is being put up by the nonprofit organization called AZ4PR. And this group is basically uh, raising money, raising funds for the ongoing relief efforts going on on the island of Puerto Rico, of course. So I decided to create this piece and this is the final outcome. I really hope you love it. I really hope I did justice to the cause that is, is going on on my beautiful Isla del Encanto in Puerto Rico so I really hope I did it justice and I really hope it's something that you guys can enjoy as well so there's a lot of meaning of course behind this piece and the main focus that I made for the actual final painting was of course the heart and it's um, in the form of two hands holding each other they're forming the shape of a heart so I took inspiration from an image that I found online which is this one right here and if you guys know the original artist please let me know i i think i found the ori original image and i have it linked down below um, if i'm wrong please let me know i took inspiration from that and of course since I'm, <laughs> I'm not the best at drawing in pencil i took it with my own mediums and i used the materials that i'm comfortable with and I brought it to life and I added a little bit of color texture and all of those things that I really like to incorporate in all of my pieces um, and I made it the center focus because I think that shows exactly what happened in Puerto Rico I think that shows when two people come together to help one another in strength and in love and pure love I think that's the most beautiful thing that can happen whenever disaster strikes and that's what happened in Puerto Rico so I made it the center point and of course I used the colors of the flag in the background and I surrounded the entire piece with different words such as strength love um, power courage I think I have on there and just made a piece that incorporated all of the things that happen whenever a community comes together in times in hard times like this one uh, as such was the case in Puerto Rico so yeah I really hope you guys love it as much as I do uh, a lot of time a lot of work and a lot of thought was put behind this piece and I really hope you enjoy it if you are interested in seeing it in person if, and if you're in the Phoenix area again the piece will be shown here in Phoenix the the address and everything all of the information for that will be in the description box below thank you so much for being here thank you guys for supporting for supporting local art more than anything if you are attending the event or just by even sharing this video and giving it a thumbs up that shows me that there is love and support for local artists so thank you so much stay tuned to see the entire process of how this piece came to be all right guys so I'm back to doing voiceovers because as I was recording my dog was snoring in the background and I don't think that you guys want to hear that so <laughs> so to get started I'm using a 24 by 30 wrapped canvas and all I'm doing to start out is creating that smoky effect with a sponge and white paint and you want to spread that smoky effect all across your canvas. So the next step is to make cutouts out of the words that I want to surround the canvas, around the heart, and I did that out of cardstock and all I'm doing here is just positioning the words around the canvas the way that I want them to. They can overlap each other or wherever and all I'm doing is just making sure that at least they're going to be noticeable in the end and that the heart isn't going to overlap them. Once the words are attached, they're only going to be a stencil and I can spray paint over top. That way when I remove the letters, they're still going to be noticeable on the canvas. 
The only reason that I'm attaching the letters and then removing them is that so when I spray paint over top, they're not going to fly everywhere. Now for my absolute favorite part, which is of course spray painting. And I first did a touch of gold all around the canvas. And then on top, I decided to go with the Puerto Rican flag, which was of course very fitting to the thematic of the entire painting. And as you can see, I need to be more aware of where my camera is because I am covering the entire process. I'm very sorry about that. Like I said before, I am now removing the stencils, the white cardstock, to reveal the black letters that will remain on the final piece. And I am removing as much as I can from the cardstock that's stuck on the canvas with my hands. And once all of the letters are removed, I am now going back with some black paint and covering up those white dots. As you can see, at sometimes I am mixing up black paint with a little bit of white paint to, to mimic those gray tones that are on the letters. So I want to camouflage those white dots as much as I can into the background. Once that is done, I am now going to add a black frame, a black wooden frame around the entire thing. And I don't know if it's just a habit of mine or if um, I just feel like adding that, that black frame adds a very special touch, kind of like a 3D effect of a finished piece. And I just, I absolutely love the look of it. And it's just become a habit of mine of just adding that black frame to my pieces. So now we're going to get to work on the focus of our entire piece and that is of course the heart in the middle. And for that we are going to take some modeling clay and start molding the piece into our canvas. And I'm just going straight with the clay onto the canvas. I'm not using any adhesive or anything and just using um, the image that I found online as reference and modeling that into the canvas. And right here, I just needed a little bit of help when it comes to how big I wanted the heart to be on the canvas. So I took a pencil and just freehanded the heart onto the canvas. Uh, again, as a reference to where I want my modeling clay to end up and how big I want the piece and where I want it positioned on the canvas.
And as you can see right here, it's starting to take shape, it's starting to take form, and I'm just adding to the edges to make it as big as I want the heart to be. And don't worry about the texture if it's looking a little bit bumpy because uh, later on we can go ahead and definitely go back with our fingers and just smooth everything out to the actual texture that we want the heart to be. So right now what I'm doing is using a Cricut weeding tool <laughs> to score the actual shape of the hand inside of the heart. So that's going to be a reference for me later on when I go in with the paint to make sure that everything stands out and um, actually looks like the hands inside of the heart. Now I'm just using the weeding tool because that's what was closest to me but you're going to see that I actually switched to a brush and I used the back of the brush to do this. Uh, you can use any sharp edge. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific tool. Just something that'll that'll split the heart and give you that guide to where your paint is going to go later on. And now we're going to go in with some ceramic stucco and building the roots around the heart. Now I don't think I explained in the beginning why I incorporated the roots in the piece and I think I used the reference of an actual tree and the actual roots of a tree um, because the roots are what help trees grow and stand tall so whenever people come together and help build each other up I really thought that was a very cool metaphor to show that um, when people come together they can build something strong and they can help something grow again like the community in Puerto Rico so I hope that makes sense and made sense to me and I really think that when you show the roots of something you're actually showing the roots of a community that's together and they're, that, the, that they're going to form a base of a strong community in the future. And now that I finished that root pattern on the top, I'm moving on to the bottom and just mimicking the same thing that I did on top onto the bottom. So now as you can see, I'm now on the finishing touches for the piece and I colored the entire heart in the center with a sponge and I went in with reds and blacks to really add those tones to the heart that I wanted. And now all I'm doing is just adding the shading, um, the black shading on the roots and around the heart because I think that's really going to make it stand out from the background and just add a little bit more dimension. And aside from that, that's going to be all that I'm going to be doing to our piece and of course adding my signature to the bottom.
And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. I know this video is going to be super long, but thank you for staying along. And one more thing that I did want to touch on before we leave is that if in any of my process videos, you see that there is a jump <laughs> in the process of how I make my pieces where uh, let's say in one second I'm right here and then the next second of the video I'm already in the finishing steps that just happens because I'm not really 100% comfortable in front of the camera or at least creating in front of the camera um, and I feel like whenever the camera turns off I can I can breathe I can let loose I can put my hair down and really dive into the painting that I want to create and the painting that I want to envision and that doesn't usually make me look very attractive or very pretty so <laughs> so that is why that happens but I know that as time goes on and I get more comfortable in my YouTube channel that'll change and of course I'll be able to show you the entire process of how I get down and dirty with my pieces and I make them the way that I want them to be and that happened with this piece I didn't show you how I went in with the with this texture right here with the ceramic and I just went in with my hands um, and uh, I just got got messy and I made a mess in my studio but um, again my channel is fairly new so bear with me and just the entire process will be shown in this channel as time goes on but for now thank you so much for staying with me thank you for subscribing if you're new to this channel welcome I really hope you enjoy the content that I'm creating for you and I really hope you enjoy the videos that are coming up in this 2018 um, I'm really hoping that this year will be one where my videos get stronger where I get more comfortable in front of the camera where I just grow as an artist and I can take you along with me so yeah thank you so much for being here thank you for subscribing to my channel if you did like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with any art lover out there in your social media platforms and if you'd like to tag me the links to all of my social media will be in the description box below thank you so much for being here have a happy new year Let Let's keep at it and hopefully I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys!